Hi, I'm Mitch, and in this free CAD tutorial, I'm going to turn a picture of a logo into G code and then cut it on my CNC. This involves a lot of otherwise unrelated steps, but the stars of the show are in the draft workbench, followed by a couple of simple cam workbench tools. And part workbench makes an appearance too. I found some pretty good instructions on how to do this on this free CAD forum topic. The link will be in the video description. The instructions break down like this. I'm mostly going to follow these instructions with a few additions and subtractions specific to my project. Specifically, my SVG didn't need the merge sketches step, so I'll show you where that is, but I won't use it. I did want to scale it up, so I added that step. So I'm an Iowa State University graduate, and this is an old Cyclones logo I found on Google Images, but it's a PNG file. The first thing I need to do is convert it to an SVG. So I'm going to come back to this topic, and the convert to SVG is this link here. And this is onlineconvert.com. I will just uh, choose a file from my device. So we added the file, and now we can start the convert. And there it is. We can download it and open it. And now it's an SVG file. So now when you come into FreeCAD, I'll just start with the parametric part. I'm not convinced you have to start on the part design workbench, but that's what I've been doing. And I can come up to File and Import and I'm actually going to import an earlier version of that, so this one here, because I know it'll work. And I want to save SVG as geometry. And yes, I'd like to use 96 DPI. There it is. So now we're going to go, excuse me. So now I want to pick all of these paths. So I'll just control shift and choose all of them. And I'll go into the draft workbench. And then way over here on this set of tools, there's our scale tool, we'll get to that. And actually, I think I will scale it right away. And I'm going to pick a point somewhere in the center. So it's just going to scale out from this point. And we'll make that a two times scale. And you can see it scaled at X, Y, and Z. So it scaled everything. And you can kind of see the old uh, sketch black behind they're both black and now the new sketch is twice as big and so we'll say okay and now we've got that cloned path and now I can drop this down and here is the draft to sketch and it makes a sketch now here is where in um, those online instructions it's possible that this will make multiple sketches and then you'll have to select those sketches go to the sketch workbench and if I had multiple sketches selected here this tool here the merge sketches would be available so I would select all my sketches just like I did these paths I would just select all the sketches and I'd merge them and they'd create a new sketch I don't need to do that because I was lucky enough to just have it make a single sketch. Now, the original SVG is still under there, and it's, and it's kind of obfuscating my view. So I'm just going to pick these paths and click the space bar and uh, make them not visible. I don't want to get rid of them yet. And so now I've just got uh, my new sketch, and it's twice as big as its original uh, self. So then we'll pick that sketch.
and you can see we have several separate um, sketches here and so we know that part design isn't going to like that because it's going to make one two three four five six different bodies you can't do that in part design workbench so here comes the part workbench to the rescue and we've got our sketch selected and I'm just going to pad that or extrude it excuse me and I'm gonna call it 12 and a half millimeters the pad size doesn't really matter that much because I can when I go into cam workbench I can cut this as deep as I want to it doesn't really matter what the pad was but I'll apply that and now we've got some thickness to our part okay open the cam workbench now and we'll start a job either one of these two solids is fine I might actually try extrude 001 okay and I am gonna maintain the I'm gonna extend the models bounding box but I'm gonna extend it by zero millimeters on every direction so I'm just left clicking and rolling my mouse wheel back to make those all zero and then in my tools I want my horizontal horizontal speed to be 150 and my vertical speed to be a hundred and all of that looks good so now I'm going to do both a profile cut and a pocket shape I'm not convinced I need the profile cut but it makes me feel better to cut out the edges of this before doing the pocket shape so we need to pick our base geometry and I want all of these so I am hovering over them until they are highlighted blue and then I control left click highlighted blue control left click highlighted blue control left click and highlighted blue control left click I've selected all of them I'll add all of them I'm gonna pick my depths again my CNC starts at a Z of zero and I'm gonna cut this down to negative five millimeters okay and did you notice it it looks like it didn't change it but if I click off it and then back onto it it's changed it I'm gonna make my safe height something nice and high 15 millimeters looks good and we will process prove all of those operation settings look good so I'll apply that and we see our tool paths and we can see it's only cutting out around the outside but I also want to cut this face and that's what the pocket shape uh, tool is for so we'll make another cut our base geometry is already selected because we've got all of them there uh, that's that's what the green means and so we'll go to depths and it'll be the same as before and it has to think a little bit longer about this because it's a lot longer tool path um, because it's going back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth to cut all of these faces and we can see if I click off of it now you can see the tool path on all of those good so I say okay and I'm gonna use my cam simulator to simulate this I'm gonna run it at normal speed and we're gonna hit go now one thing that's missing in FreeCAD in my opinion or that I haven't been able to find is the ability to tell me approximately how long this cut will take and that's not that difficult you just need to know the length of the grand total tool path and the speed of your tool um, but I don't I haven't found a tool for that in FreeCAD so the best I can say qualitatively is if this simulator is taking a long time this is gonna be a pretty long cut so I'm expecting this to take quite a while on the order of hours um, and hopefully I can figure out a workaround to actually put a number on that so stay tuned to see if I can get that figured out
I've got a few ideas. But for now, we'll just uh, fast forward through the rest of this CAM simulator and make our G code. So if we highlight our job, we can post process. This popped up on the other screen. There's our G code and it'll save it as cyclone logo big to dot NC on my desktop. So now we just gotta go cut it. <laughs> 